I think Russian culture is hugely rich territory to be mined. Um, in general, culture is a rich territory to be mined, to be honest. And um, in America, probably more than other countries because America is quite inward looking. And, um, you know, what do we know about Indonesian literature? What do we know about Mexican you know, literature, Canadian, really, I mean, aside from Jody Mitchell or I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's, it's rich territory and it's great fun. But Russia is a huge, huge country and in a lot of ways its politics is pretty dysfunctional and the state is dysfunctional um, and it always has been. So people live that. Cultural life is really important to Russians and it enjoys a space maybe that it doesn't enjoy here because you know, you don't need it so much in the West. I mean, there's so many other things that can divert you, but if you live in a country where a lot of your other means of expressions are limited, culture begins to exercise a really, really big place. And um, Russian culture, there's, you know, we're just barely, you know, Russian visual arts are really interesting at the moment. Um, and one of the things that's actually in the film is, um, there's a very short scene which shows uh, Vladimir Sorokin, who's a been the sort of leading avant-garde writer in Russia for the last 20, 30 years. And when he was very young, um, he used to hang out with a group of these people who were called the, uh, the Moscow Surrealists. And they would, what do you call the Moscow Surrealists? Is that right? Yes. Um, and there's a photograph of them all in the woods. And some of them have a paintings, and some of them are doing this, and they're doing that. And I, out of curiosity, looked up later on sort of, you know, about these artists. And, you know, this stuff is collected now for millions and millions and millions of dollars, and you can see them sort of tossing it around in the forest. And, you know, for them, that was just what they were doing, and they were poor and exciting. And I'm sure there's things being created right now in Habersk or Vladivostok or someplace, which is important, and important not just in Russia, but it's going to be important globally. I mean, we don't know what it is, and maybe we won't know what it is for 20 or 30 years, but it, I'm sure it's out there. It's a big country with a big tradition and it can enrich all of our lives.